Hey everybody, JT here from the No Code Founders community. Each week I'm trying out a new No Code tool, learning how it works, and then showing you in 10 minutes or less the key features which differentiate it from other tools in the market. So this week I'm looking at Progressier, progressier.com. Uh, Progressier is a tool which allows you to package your existing No Code applications as a progressive web app. So what that means is you can take an app that you've built on Bubble or Webflow and package that as an application which can be downloaded directly to your users' devices, be that uh, on iOS, on Android, as a native app, or even as a Mac desktop app. So that's what it allows you to do. It's got a, a ton of cool features. Um, we're going to jump into these really quick. So firstly, it's got the universal installation, which means, as I say, you can add it to users' home screens, on iOS or Android, you've got standalone desktop apps uh, and custom iOS instructions for downloading. It bypasses the app stores completely, so instead of being listed on the app stores, you can have your own kind of uh, listing page where users can download your app directly. So that's the universal installation. Uh, one other feature we'll quickly look at is just the push notifications. So you can have an app um, notifications based on data within the app itself. You can also connect user data and find out what devices your users are using and where they're based. You can also schedule push notifications up to a million subscribers in one go uh, via the dashboard and you can do push campaigns as well and connect via the API plus other integrations. Let's jump over to pricing real quick. Um, so for one app we've got Fifteen pounds per month billed annually, twenty five billed monthly. Um, you can do up to ten apps for fifty nine monthly or thirty nine annually. And it's got they've all got the universal installation. And um, w what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sign up, and uh, I'm going to try and launch one of my existing apps, which is built on Bubble, the No Code Founders website, and try and launch that as a Bubble desktop app, a uh, Mac desktop app. So um, I'm going to go through the process live. Um, I'll pause my video quickly now, but then I'll jump back in and we'll do the process from scratch with no pauses, just so we can see how long the entire process takes. All right, here we go. So firstly, we choose the development platform. We have different coding frameworks here, like JavaScript we can choose. Um, then we have the no-code app builders, so Bubble, Software, WordPress, Squarespace, Webflow, Jotform, Knack, Adalo, Wix, Weebly, and Shopify, all the usual suspects. And then we have other no-code platforms and other coding options. But in this case, we're going for Bubble. Uh, the app name we'll just call NCF. And the URL is just the URL of the application, which is nocodefounders.com in this case. And let's do it. Right, so the first step is adding the app icon. You can change different background colors and size uh, positioning and things, but that looks fine. And then we're going to update the bubble app settings. Okay, so this is where we're actually connecting it into the app. So we take this code and go into bubble and we put it in the script header here. And then we have to download this service worker. And we're going to add that um, just here. That's the wrong one, this one. And we're going to call it progressier.js. Save. And then we need to publish this to live. So right, as that's publishing, the next step, I think, is just going to be to verify that that's completed. So just make sure that's done. Verify the integration. This just takes a few seconds normally. Okay, that seems to be done already. 
Uh, so now we can try and actually download the app as a desktop app. So we go to this page and it should prompt us with the installation instructions. So clicking on this icon, we can see the app there open. Now right click the, so, I, so you, this is out of view at the moment for you, but there's now an NCF app in my Mac dock and I just need to right click on it, go to options, keep in dock, now launch the app. Okay, so this now that you're seeing is the actual, let me try and resize this window, get a bit smaller. This is uh, an app version of the No Code Founders website basically. So it's, this isn't the browser itself, this is an actual standalone app. It's not the best example uh, for a desktop app, but uh, but it shows just the in terms of the actual features. So let's go back here. Where are we? There we go. And we can click done. Now we'll try test push notification first. Okay, so targeting, test notification, there's only one user, which is me. Uh, message is fine, won't do any images. So we'll click send now. Let's see what happens here. So let's just check if this comes through. Yep, I think I have muted notifications, but that's coming through there. Uh, so it just comes through as a normal desktop notification on the on the Mac. So that's fine. We can click done on this one. And then we can customize the installation page. So if we have a look at the customization options here, this is what the, the page will look like. So you've got your app screenshots um, title, URL, installation button, description, etc. You can then upload screenshots, YouTube video, um, different background colors, button colors. Got the SEO and meta description settings, localization for translating into other languages, custom hosting. Um, but that looks fine for for us in this situation. So we can do dark mode as well. Have a preview of it. There's no screenshots at the moment, so it's going to look a bit plain, but we could add screenshots in this section. So that's that. Seems to be working. Um, also, I think if we go to the No Code Founders site now, yeah, this little option down here, this circle at the bottom right, if we click that, it gives people an, an installation button directly on the site itself, which is cool. Um, right, that's the installation done, basically, I think. Um, if we go back to the Get Started Guide, see what else we've got. Um, we'll leave that step for now. And promoting your uh, PWA. So then we have different options for actually promoting. So we've got the Floating Action button in place at the moment. I think that's the one we have. You can do an app banner, a QR code, an install button, which is just uh, HTML, which you can embed directly on your site or wherever you want. Um, that's a JavaScript event. Then there's different options for push notifications and other elements, offline alerts, refresh prompts. So that's the, the widgets side of things as well. So that's the uh, installation process complete. So I've just came on to the NoCode Founders site on my phone as well. And you can see that we have the icon for installation here as well. Let's click that and get these installation instructions. So again, we tap on the share and we scroll down and click add to home screen. And that's it done. Oh, let's drop my phone. There, we can see it on the home screen now. If we open that, 
and it loads like an like an app. Uh, it's really, just the the homepage of the site, but um, you can actually access the whole site now via that app on the phone, which is pretty cool. All right, so that was my quick ten minute overview of Progressier. Uh, I've not gone into every feature, but there's a ton of other features you can check out, like the Wall of Love, which allows you to have re customer reviews, which you sh can showcase. Um, there's also things like analytics built in. Um, you've got the push notifications for more users. You can add collaborators as well. And advanced users can do things like uh, caching strategies. So that's a quick overview of it. Um, Hopefully you could see how simple the installation process is. I did it in Bubble, but you can also do it in WordPress, Shopify, Webflow, and all the other no-code app builders that I, I showed. If you want to check it out, go to progressier.com. Hope that was helpful, and if you'd like me to check out some other tools soon, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.